Hey, what's up everyone? Chip here to uh, talk a little bit about variable radiuses in MOE 3D. So uh, let's get started. Here's a box. I'm going to go over to the polyline tool. I'm going to go up here and just uh, sketch out some kind of shape. Okay, take this and this, we'll say Boolean merge them, and delete that, and then isolate this. So now we're uh, right here, I'm going to use the polygon, my, my polyline tool, and I'm going to create a, uh, a ramp on this thing, fill it. it. Uh, let's make it 20. Quite right. Done. Okay, take this boolean and we'll delete this. And now <coughs> we have that shape inside there. So now I'm going to take these two and union them, boolean union them together. Uh, and let's just go ahead and grab these little edges here and let's fill up these three. <coughs> Three, three ought to be good. Okay, so now you can see what we have. Now we're going to fill it on the inside of this. We want a thick fillet down here and a thin edge up here. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so the way we do this is we're going to select all of these lines to fill it with, and then both top and bottom. You have to do both of these at the same time because if you don't, you'll never get the other. If you do the bottoms first, you'll never get the tops. If you do the tops, you'll never get the bottoms. So we'll select them both at the same time. Hit the fillet. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, fillet them with. Uh, I need to get a really small number here to start with. Let's see if point 0.1 will do it. There you go. So we got a small number. Great. So now we've got that thing. We know it fillets it. Now let's add some new point sets. So I'm going to go in here, add this one, this one. I'm going to go about across from that. Somewhere like right about there. Say, uh, use check linear blend in this case, done. I'm going to use radius of 0.8. Okay. See what that looks like. Good. Add another point set. I'm going to go here, here. I'm going to click all these other areas. And let's go right around. Here. Done, and we'll make it 1.2. You can see we've got that nice fat fillet on the bottom. It tapers off nicely up here. And I'm going to add a little more of a fillet to the very top edge here. Okay. And done instead of that was 0.1, so let's do a 0.3, see what that does. There we go, so you can see, say done. And uh, there you have it. Very nicely done. If I turn this off, we can see exactly what it looks like. So you can see that's uh, using variable fillets to create a, a, a nice, uh, interesting shape. This thing comes up very nice and smooth right here the way it works. So. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you next time.